What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today with more Scrap Mechanics Survival, and today we are back working on some things. I changed up the truck since the last episode, we just built this truck, and I kind of fixed it. I shortened it just a little bit, and then also uh, finished up the curves, and finished up the paint job. And on top of that, I took your guys' suggestion, a lot of people wanted me to make a hidden door for the actual deploying of the fruit dispenser. So I did that. On the side here, when we press the two button, it actually opens a panel up and then the fruit dispenser comes out. And then of course, if we press the three switch now, it's on an automatic repeating loop. So it will automatically dispense the fruit constantly and uh, we can bring that back in. And then four still locks the pin in the back. So really simple truck and we're gonna actually move it today because today is moving day. We're getting out of the stupid mechanic shop. I'm so tired of being here. We have our farm set up behind our wall over there and I want to just start living there. So today we're going to build our own mechanic shop and I've been grinding a lot of materials. We've got a bunch of brick here. We've got all this stone we're going to take. We're also going to take all this metal and we're going to take this entire chest. Look at this. All this stuff here. We don't really need the concrete. Uh, but we're going to take all this kind of material. This is a really cool block. It's extruded metal. And I thought it would be neat to make the sort of building out of it because it just looks kind of cool. And we are starving. So let's actually grab this. We're going to take that whole chest. We're going to take lights because we're going to need lights in the warehouse. Let's just dump all this into here. It's great. Doesn't matter. Yeah, perfect. And more lights. And okay, we got those in our inventory. Let's just grab this whole chest. And okay, well... Put that one down. There we go. Perfect. We're going to move out by the end of this episode. All this stuff here is going to be gone and we're not bringing any of it back. So we're actually going to put this on the piston powered vehicle. We'll bring it over first. We're going to have to do a series of sprints back here to actually get the rest of the vehicles because we have to move the buggy and the truck. And of course, the rest of the stations. I want to actually... Actually, we're going to have to bring this vehicle back probably. Or no, we can move the stations on the truck. It should be fine. But either way, we're going to empty out the whole capsule there, capsule number three, and we're going to store everything in our mechanic shop. It might be messy, it might cover the whole wall, but I want to have everything in one location. I'm really tired of playing the game and being like, oh, I need to go grab some food and I got to run all the way to the farm, or then, oh, I got to go back to the mechanic shop to get this, that, and whatever. So I want to start actually living in our base, which I think is going to be sweet. And in order to do that, we just got to make sure we have a building that's lit up at night so we can work in it at night and do our crafting and things and not be completely, you know, out in the dark. So that's kind of the objective is to build one of those and have it set up nicely by the end of this episode, which basically means I've grinded for like, I don't know, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hours of materials and we're going to waste it in about 35 seconds. So it's going to be a great video. I hope you guys wanted to watch me drag some blocks because that's pretty much what we're going to do. All right, so with the creative goodies, what I want to do is build the workshop here. I want to build it kind of up over the water and I want to build the working panel out of this stone stuff here. So by working panel, I mean the surface that you're actually going to build vehicles on. And that should be, I think, two full extensions. So 32 blocks by three full extensions. So it'll be six of these sets total. Don't worry, there's just a ridiculous amount of blocks involved in this whole build and uh, we're just gonna chew through them. And we need some stone brick. We've got more brick over here, I think. Yeah, look at this. I've been grinding for so long that we just got lots of material. So we're gonna bring this out a little bit more just so if we take our vehicle out of the warehouse, we'll have room. So we're gonna drive basically out in this direction and our vehicle will park this way over top of the water. Now I want to see how much room we're going to have for the warehouse. I'd like to have a little bit of a walkway right here that we could walk along the outside of the warehouse if we had to and actually be able to, you know, like like this, just a three wide brick section because I feel like that would be really cool to actually be able to, you know, walk along the outside of the warehouse and defend this wall in case the firebots come here. The greenies I find sometimes will come out to here and hack this, but really they're not that bad, so I'm not too worried about it. Oh, we're dehydrated. Okay, we got fruit, I think, right? We got something, I hope. Pretty sure we're not gonna die here. We run, oh, we only have carrots. Okay, we're gonna eat a lot of carrots because they do not do much for dehydration, but we're probably gonna die this episode. So let's just see uh, real quick how wide this is. So if we do a full extension, that's out to here. Do another full extension, that's out to there. That's actually, that's actually pretty good. Um, and then I want to do some other cool stuff too. I really want to make this warehouse look kind of, kind of fancy. You know what I mean? I got some diamond plate. I don't really know what to do with this. I want to maybe outline the warehouse with this. So we're going to grab, oh my God, we got so much stuff. This is just, this is just ridiculous. Let's get rid of some of this. Let's grab some of this. 
There's just too many different materials here, guys. It's gonna be just a nightmare to deal with, but I wanna do the outer wall. So this is the outer wall of the warehouse and it'll come up from here and outer wall again this way. Perfect, something like that. And then I wanna do like a little layer of diamond plate, like maybe one or two blocks around the outside. And if we do it this way, hopefully we can do this without interfering with the terrain. How far over do we, no, we're back, we're into the terrain. To, and then we got to go we got to move the warehouse out a little bit just a little bit and then we'll get this working i just realized too i keep calling it a warehouse but it's really a workshop i uh, yeah it's it's gonna be like a workshop it's our own personal mechanic station that's basically what we're making here so let's try it now here i want to just make sure that like the workshop itself doesn't have any gross obvious built into the terrain sort of features i kind of want to have it you know out on its own and look like it's its own structure. All right, so it's super dark now, but I feel like I've extended this out enough. This is actually kind of good because we're gonna have some space to, you know, turn your vehicle, get it up onto the grass and get it out of the base. But let's see if we've got enough here. So we're just gonna do some exact measurements, something like that, and then bring this across like so. And then the diamond plate is a full stretch of two out to there. Perfect. And then two full stretches across. And hopefully this doesn't hit the terrain anymore. Um, I mean, it does just a little bit in that one corner. If we came out to here, it wouldn't hit it at all. So if we came out four more blocks. Yeah, you know what? Let's go out four more blocks. All right, let's try this for hopefully a final time. So boom, boom. And then we need this to go along here. And some diamond plate out. And diamond plate across. Perfect. There we go. Oh, look at that. Awesome. This is actually going to look pretty cool, I think, as long as we don't run out of material. And then we'll finish off some brick here to kind of make this go flush back with the terrain. So the workshop is actually going to be built in to the same piece that the wall is connected to, which I don't think is going to be a big deal. Uh, there's not going to be any moving parts in the workshop. It's just going to be this big, flat, open area with lights on top that lets us work at night and sort of gives us just a building space that's not the mechanic shop. And we will eventually extend this brick down and around, or at least if we don't go all the way to the ocean floor, because that's pretty far, we'll extend it and kind of cap it underneath so that, you know, farm bots can't get in. But uh, let's just set up the rest of this. It's interesting how when you're underwater, you can't see the outline of the blocks that you're building, but you can see like where they start. So you just kind of have to guess at it, but I think that's pretty good. And we have another strip of this and we got a ton more of this stuff which we'll need how much are we diamond plate oh we got tons of diamond plate too okay we should be okay i think to finish this whole thing off i've honestly been grinding so many materials i was just like i hope i have enough to actually build this because if i run out i'm just gonna be super sad and obviously have to go back to grinding more but i think this is actually gonna be perfect i just want the thin strip of diamond plate to kind of i don't know look like something a little bit different Give it a little bit of flavor, you know? You know, base building's an interesting thing. I was actually talking with Moombo about it. We were like, base building's kind of funny because I really want to build a base and obviously have my own base and do my own crafting and stuff like that in my own facility. But it takes a lot of materials to do some base building. And you have to like grind for a fair amount of time just to get enough materials to do the base building. But this, I think, is going to be perfect. And we can loop this back over. Pretty sure those are still disconnected. We can do a real quick check if we put like a light here. Can we connect that switch to this light? No, we can't. So they're still separate entities, which is good because I don't want the warehouse and this like interacting with each other and causing more lag. So that's kind of nice. So the sun's coming up. This actually looks pretty good. I really like it. It's a lot of build space. So if we're, you know, working on vehicles, whatever, we're just going to wrench in here. We'll take all our crafting stations from the other place. We'll put it back here. But for now, let's actually put up the walls on this thing. It's going to be just a wonderful tin shed it's uh it's gonna look super fancy and just be you know very tin shed like it's gonna have some windows i guess we got a bit of glass so you put some windows on it but pretty much gonna gonna look like a tin shed here guys we unfortunately don't have any wedge blocks so i'm not gonna do a sloped roof with controllers because controllers and bearings is just adding extra lag we really don't need but uh we are gonna just make it look like you know a nice little nice little tin shed these blocks are actually kind of nice because for every one metal you get two of them so you can go five metal turns into ten of these but i mean we already burned through a lot this looks kind of nice though i really i really like that it actually looks kind of like a tool shed a little less like a workshop more like a tool shed it honestly needs like pillars in the corners doesn't it 
Like maybe a metal pillar. Do I have enough metal to do that? I might. What if I just do this? Does that look good? I really like that. I think that looks way better. Kind of rounds it off rather than just paneling everywhere. Let's do that in each of these corners here and just put a metal pillar. Perfect. And I love this walkway around the outside, especially if we got farm bots like swimming or whatever. We can just walk around the outside here. We're gonna need some windows too, so we'll get on that. Um, there we go. Perfect. And then I want to go up another level. This is 16 high so far. I could have sworn I had more of this extruded metal panel stuff, but I guess I chewed through it in like 35 seconds. So I don't know how much higher we can go up in these corners. What, what is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So if we go up like this, that's 10. So this would be a total of like 26 high. I feel like that's enough. We're gonna run out of blocks, but I think it's I think it's enough. You know what? I think this is actually okay though, because we're gonna cut some windows, which will give us some of these blocks back, and maybe that'll be enough. And the roof we're gonna make out of like metal and glass, which we're not gonna have enough of either of those. I feel like this looks like a really, really tall shed now. But I actually kind of like that. I think that's a significant height. It's good enough for us to build stuff in. It's kind of a little cramped. Like, we're working on the truck. We're not going to be able to lift it up super, super high without it clipping through the roof. But I feel like that's okay. I mean, we should really... You know what? Let's actually go back to base. And let's go grab the truck. And let's bring the truck over here and see how tall the truck is compared to all this. I know it's shorter than this for sure. But, I mean, just for comparison's sake, I'm very curious about how big the truck is. So let's run back real quick. Eat some carrots the whole way. Grab the truck and bring the 18-wheeler truck over and at least see the height comparison of that. That's the biggest vehicle we've got so far. If we're doing anything bigger than that, we're just not going to do it in the mechanic shop. We'll do it in a different building or we'll just do it outside, to be honest. The big purpose of the mechanic shop, in my mind, is to duplicate the mechanic shop we have here, which is building at night. So we can actually sit in there, craft stuff, have some overhead lighting that's always on and just kind of gives us that light so that we don't have to worry about, you know, not being able to see anything in the middle of the night while we're trying to do stuff. All right, so we've got the truck. Let's uh, line her up this way, and we're going to load up these crafting stations because the buggy can't haul anything, so we'll just put them on the back here. We'll put all these chests here too. Crafting station. Oh, goodness. Do we not? There we go. A little bit, little bit bulky. Another chest up here. We'll probably burn through all this just getting over to the base. It's fine. The truck, it already burned. Oh, no, it just filled the engine. That's right. Let's go. Look at that. It doesn't even care. This thing's awesome. All right, cool. Now we only have to come back for the buggy and all the stuff there. But all that stuff, we can do a few trips and put it in our inventory to unload it. Uh, this is all the crafting stations. I hope this is honestly tall enough with the shed. If the shed is tall enough to cover this truck up, then I'm not too worried about it. As long as we can, you know crouch and walk underneath the truck with it on our lift slightly. I don't care about being able to lift the creation all the way up to max, but I definitely want to be able to actually, you know, lift it up a little bit. And that shed looks pretty cool. It looks definitely like a workshop. That's sick. Alright, does this truck even fit under the gate? Did I even check that? Oh my god. No. Oh, it does. Oh yeah. Sick. Does it fit in here? Oh, that's great. This is actually a good height. I think right where it's at now. That's a pretty good height. We could lift this up just a little bit. You know, a few blocks. How much gas did we burn? Five gas. Oh my god. That's so much gas just to move like two feet. You know, we're taking all the gas out of you. I don't trust you. You're going to burn it just sitting there. Okay. So that's a good height. Do we have enough blocks? We do not. Let's uh, put up the corner pillars. And let's cut some big windows. Uh, we're gonna run out of glass too. We're not gonna have enough glass for all these windows, but that's okay We'll leave them open for now and deal with them later. There we go. Yeah, perfect Okay, so window time. This is really dark and depressing. Perfect. We got some windows. I think that looks okay We'll eventually cover them all up with glass. Like I said, I don't think the farm bots will be any threat I don't even think they can get up into these windows to be honest, but we'll cover them all up with glass eventually uh, I want to kind of save the glass more for the roof. I'm not really sure about putting second floor windows. I don't think that matters. Maybe we'll eventually put like a second floor workbench area up top. But for now, it's just going to be a giant open shed for doing shed things. Mainly actually just building everything. We'll put all our crafting stations along the edge. So this should be enough. Perfect. And then I don't even have enough to go across. But that's okay. We can do 
the top ring with metal. Oh my goodness, we are so short of material. Let's do this top ring with metal bricks. I thought I was gonna have a surplus of this stuff. I had like 16 stacks of this stuff and like right away, just building a simple structure, you burn through so much material, it's not even funny. Like it's, it's kind of awesome, but at the same point in time, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna go back to grinding just to finish this structure up. Hopefully I have enough to finish the roof. That would be the big thing and actually like hang the lights up because the lights are gonna be the big test. And if the lights work and we can build in this at night, that's just gonna be fantastic and allow us to, you know, basically live here. And that craft bot just freaked me right out. I saw its arm moved and I thought it was a hay bot. All right, so we're just gonna finish this off with a little strip under the doorway. Maybe three wide, will it let me do that? Oh yeah, perfect. This looks like a great shed. It's a nice little garage to work in. It's super tall. Maybe eventually we'll put a second floor, like a balcony that wraps around the outside. I don't really see the point to it yet, but uh, eventually we'll do that. We got four things of glass, so we're gonna save those for the roof and try and finish it off with this metal on the roof as well, so. How to do this is going to be a wicked question because we have 10 lights, I believe. And I want to kind of try and space the lights out evenly. All right, so I think I figured out some spacing for the lighting. Uh, we've got these little holes in the floor here. So I'm going to put a light directly above them. So it should be 10 lights total, two rows of five. Oh, that one's off. So there we go. Just like that. And we'll put a light directly above them in the ceiling. And we'll see how that looks. And hopefully it's enough. I want to try and keep the lights spread out from the middle so we can get like the angles of the lights. And... You might think it'll be too bright, but we should have enough paint to paint these lights and make them a little dimmer. Do we even have 10 lights? We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Do we actually only have 8 lights? I thought we had 10. Did I only build 8? Oh boy. Do we need more lights? Can we afford more lights? Oh, circuits. Yes. Glue. Perfect. Couple more lights, please. Thank you. Alright, let's try installing these in the roof. Um... So we're gonna need a, a brace of sorts somewhere. I don't know how to actually do this. One right up there, I guess, that goes across. So right here, and goes across like that. We're gonna make a grid, and then we know at the center of every grid, we can put a light. Whether we keep the grid afterwards, I don't know yet. Depends on how it looks. I'd like to kind of have a lot of natural skylight come in because I feel like the skylight is really just gonna be you know, wonderful for actually lighting up this place during the day. And rather than having it all with this artificial light. But here we go. We've got the grid. And then boom, one light. And another. And of course, you can make them intensity of 20. And we'll have to darken them up. But we should be able to just keep going now. So let's just go up to here. Drag this one over. Might have to actually do this roof out of wood, to be perfectly honest, if we run out. I'd like to make this metal, because it's kind of like, you know, a big metal shed. Durable. Looks rugged. Looks like the kind of place you'd actually work on a vehicle. And of course, we are built completely over water, which is kind of interesting. Alright, now we just gotta connect the horizontal beams, or vertical, I don't know, whichever way you want to call them. We gotta connect these beams across the other axis, and uh, it should be good. And then we'll put a light in each intersection. And at least this will give us our initial light grid pattern. Are we out of metal? Oh, we have enough. Okay. And then eventually we can figure out what we want to do with this roof. I don't think we're going to have much material left after this, to be honest. We got a bunch of glass. Definitely not enough glass to fill in the whole roof. So we'll have to do some more grinding for glass, which requires stone, which I don't think I have any more of. I'm pretty sure we used all that for the flooring. And it requires ember, which I also don't think we have any of. So just, you know, wonderful times here once again at the Con Gaming Base. Um... Just running out of materials, you know, like we do every day. Alright, so let's just finish installing these lights, though. And then at least we'll have, you know, an idea of how bright this work area is. It's gonna be pretty awesome, I'm not gonna lie. I'd love to be able to work at night in our own base and have this workshop. And I think it looks really cool with this light pattern above it. And actually, this is great. We might not even need them on the intensity of 20. The ones at the front are on 20. And they're, like, super bright. These ones are on 10. If we set them all to 20... It just becomes pretty violent, doesn't it? Eh, uh, you know what? Not not really. If we paint them white, it probably does. But I think if we paint them a light gray, it'll diminish the light just a little bit and give us, you know, the same intensity. Oh my god, everything is really orange. Alright, let's paint them all a light gray and see what happens. Light gray. Light gray. 
Oh yeah, that's looking so much better already. Nice. Oh, this is perfect. Look at how bright that is. This is great. It's like it's like a perfect work area. We actually have so much room here now. And we can cover up all these holes in the floor. Oh, this is awesome. Be able to wrench on my vehicles at night. Be able to set up our crafting station here. Literally just do whatever the heck we want in this garage. Work on our vehicles. Bring them out. This looks fantastic. The roof needs some work. We're going to have to put something on the roof. I want to do like a whole glass roof, I think, on top of that grid pattern. I feel like that would look really, really cool. Um, we're not going to have enough glass to do it. So for now, we're just going to put glass in these windows. Because they need to be done as well. I don't want, you know, people jumping through the windows. There we go. I can't believe I burned through all this material already. I mean, I can, but like... I thought it would last a little bit longer. I thought we'd be able to do the roof too, to be perfectly honest. I knew we weren't necessarily going to have enough to do all the flooring and stuff. But I thought we'd for sure get the roof done. And, like, we just don't have enough. I want to... Like, fill in... Do I just fill these in with glass? I think that's what we do, right? But, like, how many how many panels am I actually going to get done here? Yeah, we're out. Okay, well, we're going to keep this stack in case we need glass for crafting stuff. So that's not bad. We need a few more panels, so we'll fill in the rest of those. But this looks great. I actually really, really like this. This is a sick area to work at. And at night, like, it's pitch black right now, and you don't even notice. The workshop is nice and lit up. You can have your lift down. Work on parts, wrench vehicles. Like, let's bring in the truck. And, uh, let's just, let's just put it on the lift and bring it in there. Look at that. We can put that right down. And we can work on that no problem. It is definitely bordering on the max height of what I'd want to work on in here. It's, uh, yeah, it's definitely getting on the max height level. But you know what? That's not bad. That's definitely something we could work on. And if we have it on the lift, we can still use it on the lift and of course you can just you know push it right through the roof and have it clip through if you really want to work on it but i feel like this is good enough this is actually pretty awesome it does cast a pretty wicked shadow but either way it's still better than nothing and i just cut a hole in the floor that's the only unfortunate thing with a custom workshop is if you cut a hole in your own floor then your parts will fall into the ocean but let's set up our crafting stuff we had that all before, so let's set that all back up in here for now. We're eventually going to have a dedicated refinery station or potentially put the refinery just on something else so it can actually, you know, craft on its own. I feel like these back windows are sort of pointless if we put all the equipment in front of them, aren't they? Eh, whatever, we'll leave them for now. Who cares? So refinery goes into the raw material chest, which I think was this one. And we'll attach that right here. There we go. Yeah, it does definitely seem kind of pointless that we've got, you know, just a giant thing there. We almost need to move that up to the second floor and have like a little ladder that goes up or a lift or something. But either way, we'll leave it here for now. We'll eventually, you know, rearrange this stuff. I want to make a proper warehouse. Uh, right now, we're just sort of stockpiling chests and stuff right next to the craft bot. Can I actually... Oh my goodness, look at that. That's perfect. It actually fits the whole train perfectly. But yeah... Right now, we're just kind of stockpiling stuff, but either way, at least we've got our craft bot all set up and flowing into these output chests, and, uh, oh, we got another one here. What's this one? Oh, a little bit more stone. Perfect. I'm really happy with how this shop turned out for now. I think it's sick. I think it looks awesome. It looks like definitely one of those tin sheds you put in your backyard to work on trucks and cars and stuff, and it's gonna give us a place to live at night. Now all that's left to do is to actually just grab our stuff and start stacking it up in here. So I've got to go back and do like 200 trips to empty out the inventory of everything that's over in the shop. But let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I'm definitely going to do that. Unload everything and I'm going to stop living in the mechanic hut. Now I'm only going to go to the mechanic hut if we need to build one of those specialty craft stations. Otherwise we're going to do all our building right here in this fantastic workshop and uh, I'm going to get more glass. I'm definitely going to have to do some more stone mining and get some more glass. But either way, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And while you're at it, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see y'all next time.